uh, Mayor Rudy of uh, Gigo. Let's uh, keep with the mayors and go now to Petey, where Mayor Jesse Eilig is uh, on the line. Mayor, thank you uh, again wow. for taking our call. Busy day for him. Good morning. Yesterday. Good morning. <laughs> yesterday, right? And so it's Monday. Is it Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Right. It's Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 7 to 11. Right. And we're talking about the commodities. Now, Mayor, I know it's a DOE, a GDOE uh, program, uh, but it happens in your village there. And it's, it's is it the same spot as the GSA warehouse or? Uh, correct. It's, it's uh, adjacent to the warehouse. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, they've been there since I've since I've known. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I think everything went well yesterday for the most part. My staff did help the uh, the DOE staff uh, distribute the commodities. Um, I don't know if you've seen them or if you've received them, but they're you know they're they're bulky items. And um, GPD was great. They they controlled the traffic. Um, Jeff Garcia from DPW reached out to me the day before to talk about a plan, which I'm very grateful for because you know these days we're <laughs> we're um we're used to uh last minute notices but i'm so uh, thankful for jeff garcia uh reaching out to me to make sure that the traffic control plan was was uh going to be executed properly so that you know everyone is safe and that our residents in pd can travel out and in uh, appropriately so for the most part i think it went well i don't know how many actually received I, um, I'm sure there's there's some uh, news outlet reporting how many uh, was actually received or how many they distributed but it seemed quite a bit uh, right. starting starting at 7 in the morning man so, uh, GDOE I got to give them a props because they have done uh, more I think to assist our uh, struggling of uh, families than any other government agency I agree and, and then they, mm -hmm. they even worked on getting the student lunches through through the summer so mm -hmm. you know we help daily with the distribution of, the, of those meals and you know they've done a great job supplying that to the to the students and, and not the students but i think all the children because right. it's not yeah. just gdo it students. is for all the children yeah yeah so um yeah a great job for them uh they they did a great job or they're doing a great job and um you know so, and so are the mayors and their staff. Yeah, you guys yeah. are delivering uh, meals to to the islands, Manumco. I mean, <laughs> well, you did your own that, program. You know, uh, Mayor, to, to I want to put you up there with a glacier of Cristo. <laughs> I want to I want to well, say the mayors are you guys are right up there with a glacier of Cristo as COVID heroes. I agree. I agree that that our staff work hard and our staff, you know, they are. Uh, part of the frontliners that everyone talks about i mean they're not health care workers or um you know police officers or fire um fighters but they work just as hard um but i have to say they probably get paid the lowest correct um, yeah. and and like let's, said, let's just jump right into the double pay mayor because i feel like you're going that way yeah and yeah, i, and, and okay. I want to make sure everybody knows like when they and you probably do whenever there's a, a emergency a disaster that happens on guam it's the mayors and their people that go out there sometimes in the middle of the storm uh to help people so they are and, risking and, their lives just and putting it i do out want there. to talk a little about this because it's not just a, a storm uh when there's right. a tsunami uh, mm -hmm. alert and we were on the coast mm -hmm. uh, we're out there talking to residents uh helping them to um you know get to higher ground uh when there's an earthquake and something happens we're, we're out there and it, it doesn't really matter what kind of disaster we're always there mm -hmm. and um and we want to be there and and so with this COVID 19 pandemic uh, when it first, uh, when we first started, um, we didn't, well, most of us, I'm sure, didn't think about what our staff was going to get paid. It was our community, our people needed to be served, our, our people needed to be taken care of, they needed to, to stay um, safe and healthy. So let's plan to do that. And that's exactly what we did in PT. In the end, though, um, they worked those hours truthfully and they worked hard for those wages so they need to get paid those wages just like any other worker whether government or private sector whether emergency um personnel healthcare worker they worked and they're they're the middle class they're the working class that that we need to support so my my plight in all of this i did send a letter to the governor to to request to pay 
uh, my staff because can, can you send I'm us a copy even, of that letter, Mayor? Sure, just what's I'm not even. This is this a separate one a from the mayor? No, I send my own letter because I know every other mayor feels differently. But of course, I'm, I if if I should if I should be if this should prove fruitful, of course, you know, I want it to, to benefit the entire mayor's council. Um, but the bottom line is, it's a disaster. The governor declared it a state of emergency. And it, it's when, when our employees report to work, they just need to get paid, whether it's double pay, whether it's whatever kind of pay it is considered during an emergency, that's the pay that they need to get paid. I'm not asking for, I'm only asking for what's in the rules now. Right. And, uh, Unfortunately, the healthcare workers, like the AG mentioned, they're not listed in this um, in this plan or in these set of rules, and uh, it doesn't negate their work. It doesn't negate the fact that they need to get paid. And also, that, that, that's just an opinion from the attorney general. It doesn't well, have that the true. Yeah. that true, that true. And so, you know, they, my staff worked, so they should get paid the way they normally get paid in any other disaster. And that's that's kind of where I'm, what I'm trying to get at bottom line it makes a lot of sense mayor yeah. and, and and you know of course it's not for me it's not for me as the mayor I'm, I'm not getting paid anything extra I, I get paid my salary and that's what it is and I'm not fighting for me I'm fighting for my staff like I said it's, it's the working class that's suffering in this entire pandemic I mean we're we have a lot for those that that don't have enough we have a lot for those that have a lot but we don't have for the middle class and um, and I feel like that's the the you know, all those people that are working hard every day uh, need to be supported more. Thank and you, Mayor. Yeah. Thank you, too, Chris. Of course. Uh, let's touch base again this uh, next week and catch up with what you got going on in uh, PD. I mean, is there anything that you want to share uh, to your constituents while we got you here? We have Manomcomania next Friday. <laughs> <laughs> So May is gonna, Manumco month. What is Manumco mania, Mayor? Manumco mania. We're um, well. This is going to be a. It's going to be a battle, but we're we're working on it. Oh, they need to get on Zoom. They need to join us on Zoom. So we'll be helping them out. Uh, figure that out on there. You know, there's quite a bit of Manumco that have smartphones. Right. And uh, and so we're gonna. We normally have Manumco month activities throughout the month of May, but you know, of course, we can't. So. Right. We're going to do it virtually this time, and it'll be a, an hour of trivia. They'll be able to win some prizes on Friday, next Friday at 10 a.m. So that's that'll be our Manumco activity for the month. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mayor. And uh, if you get a response to your letter, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll be tuning in today to the legislature for sure. All right. Okay, Mayor. Okay, take care. Take did, care. Did you send it to the right address, or did you send it to the same one that Senator Moylan sends it to? <laughs> I had to ask him the other day. I was hand like, delivered. man. Mine was hand-delivered. <laughs> Senator Moylan, are you sure you got the zip code right? Cause... <laughs> Mine was hand-delivered. Okay, you're know. safe then. Okay. Wait, who, who uh, accepted it? Uh, Central Files accepted it. Okay. okay. Right on. From six feet away. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do to say? There you go. <laughs> Take well, that. Oh or, <laughs> yeah. Okay, Mayor. Thank you. Right, hey. You have a good day. Wash okay. your hands. Right on. You too. Okay. Uh, 7.40. <laughs> hey, we're going to take just a real quick break and uh, come back with more of Containing COVID right here on Guam's favorite, I-94. Good morning. What? Keeping you informed. KUH.